I am a Zionist. How Joe Biden's lifelong bond with Israel shapes war policy. When Joe Biden met with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his war cabinet during his visit to Israel, the U.S. president assured them, I don't believe you have to be a Jew to be a Zionist, and I am a Zionist. Politicians and generals gathered in the ballroom of the Tel Aviv Hotel nodded in approval, according to a U.S. official knowledgeable of the closed-door remarks. Even as Israel bombarded Gaza in retaliation for a devastating attack by Palestinian Hamas militants and with a ground invasion looming. Biden, who is of Irish Catholic descent, has used similar words in the past to profess his affinity for Israel. But the moment, which has not been previously reported, illustrates how Biden's decades as one of the leading friends of Israel in American politics seem to be guiding him during a defining crisis of his presidency. It also underscores the challenges he faces balancing unwavering support for Israel with persuading Netanyahu, with whom he has a long history, to avoid worsening the civilian death toll and humanitarian meltdown in Gaza as well as complicating further releases of American hostages. Were I a Jew, I would be a Zionist. And my father pointed out to me, I did not need to be a Jew to be a Zionist. For I am. For I am. Israel is essential to the security of Jews worldwide. In our silence, they experience violence. In our silence, they experience violence. As a Jewish person, Israel does not represent me. The killing of all those innocent families in Israel was terrible. But the response is even worse. It's a genocide. It is not acceptable to have hostages, and it is even more unacceptable to have children hostages. Palestinians are counting on each and every one of us. It's not about religion, it's about humanity coming together and fighting for what's right. Israel is essential to the security of Jews worldwide.